Theology makes all of us into pilgrims. We're all just passing through here. The Word of God is very clear to us uh, that the care for the neighbor and the stranger is always the responsibility of the larger church community. In the United States, especially in North America, all Lutherans came here from someplace else. So we are all immigrants and we are all refugees. We're all part of that kind of community. The Lutheran Church has historically been connected to the work of immigration and refugee services through LIRS, and that work began in 1939. The work of LIRS uh, spreads out through our churches in, in various ways, powerfully through resettlement of actual refugee families. There's advocacy work, there are people in, in our churches who are very interested in connecting with the government, connecting with local leaders to advocate for refugees and for immigrants. As I travel around our synod, I hear more and more congregations who are willing to open up the doors of uh, vacant parsonages. Financial support from congregations and from individuals is a big deal. And then there are congregations and individuals who are actually involved in resettling people. To provide jobs in our churches, but also um, material aid and comfort to those who are caught in this in-between time. I think it's important because there's a biblical mandate to care for the outsider, to care for the refugee, to care for the immigrant, to care for the stranger, and that's just part of our faith. And the scripture doesn't give us the option of trying to decide which neighbor that we care after or from where those neighbors come. But we are reminded that in Christ we are gathered into one and that we have a responsibility uh, to care for the needs of the stranger, the alien, the neighbor, whatever those needs might be and from wherever they come. Mm -hmm.